Okay, so I've got my aluminum furnace there. I've got my crucible with some limestone in it to the lid and then the foundry tools. And I've filled it completely up. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to light this and get it to burn down and get a good bed of coals. So I'm going to put the limestone in it and then fill it back up. So I'm using a little Coleman uh, air mattress inflator to get some heat going. And we've got to get it around 900 to about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to get the uh, uh, chemicals to change, all right? So we're now we've got it, we've burned it for a couple hours. So we're just gonna pull it out, all right? And you've got to realize that uh, we've made lime and lime is very corrosive, so you want to make sure that you, you have some eye protection on, you know, that, that you're kind of careful with it. Now, this is really just a proof of concept. It's it's kind of a small uh, furnace, and, and we're going to do this in larger quantities and kind of perfect the technique as we go along. But basically, now that we've cooked it, uh, we can add water because of the, the chemical changes in the limestone when you add water it turns into a paste now i've overcooked and burnt some of that lime i actually got hot enough to, to melt aluminum rather quickly i got it up to about uh about 1400 degrees or so by my best estimate which is, is too hot and, and i burnt some of it so some of this did not turn into paste some of it stayed as gravel but uh, as i add more water and i, and I stir it up it turns more and more into a putty and then what we do is we just put it in a bucket under water with that lime wash, that milk, milky looking uh, uh, lime wash, and let it sit. And, and this is something that the longer it sits, the better quality of product you get. So, you know, after about a month, then, then it's a real good quality uh, of slate lime. Okay? And so uh, we just keep stirring this up for a little while. And once it gets to a nice little slurry, a nice little taste consistency, you know, minus the gravel that, uh, that I had burnt, I just throw it in the bucket, right? And that's all there is to it.